We are Pig Rat Family here at Pig Rat Gaming, playing games and having fun, always entertaining. Whenever you want to paint a car, I have some imperfections. I can't blame the car. I can't blame the project. I gotta blame, blame myself. I used a cheap ass Rust Oleum. I'm doing a video on this and I'm putting it on the other channel as a makeover restoration type. Not a restoration by no means. Why am I saying restoration? It's not a restoration. It was supposed to be a quick paint job and I had some imperfections I did myself and some fucking flies ran into the side of my fucking car and overnight and just stuck like a motherfucker. So when I picked them out, I sanded them out and tried to buff it out. It's a one-part system, so meaning that it has the enamel in it, it has the clear coat with the paint. It's all one part. I don't have a paint booth. So after I picked them out and I sanded them down really quick, it changed the color of the fucking red. So I figured I'd go buy a quart of red. No big deal. I just need a quart. I'm doing the roof. I'm doing, a, I'm doing the fucking the hood. And I'm going to do the fucking one door, not the front fender, and the back panel. That's all I'm going to do. I'll probably use a half a quart of fucking paint. Well, I'm not going to say the paint's expensive. It's $49.99. It's 50 fucking dollars. But I already spent 50 fucking dollars on, with $70 on the primer, $50 on the paint, $300 or two, whatever the fuck it was on a compressor. Uh, this, I bought a pr primer gun. I bought a fucking paint gun. I bought fucking uh, sandpaper. I bought fucking black paint for the grill and the bumper. And I'm, I know it's not the truck's fault. It's my fucking fault. Well, come to find out, the fucking safety red from Rust-Oleum only comes in a fucking gallon. A fucking gallon. I gotta buy another fucking gallon of paint to fucking paint my car. I paint a little bit. What am I gonna do with this fucking... I told myself, I wanna learn how to do this shit. I wanna learn how to paint cars. Not for fucking... Thank you, brother, for letting me know it was looking good. Appreciate you, man. Back 20 minutes ago. That's my fault, man. I'm all over the place right now because I'm fucking aggravated. I feel like shooting the fucking holes in the car, but it's, the car's, it's not the car's fault. It's my fault. I know I'm complaining about the little... I know there's things that go back. I just thought it was going to be one slab, one be done. Okay, I got some orange peel. I got a couple runs, but I got a thousand fucking flies from Jurassic Park sticking off the side of my fucking truck. After I got them off, after I got these fucks off, I had to go back in and do a little light sand and do a buffing. Well, you can't buff a one tone. You can go back and put a clear coat on it, but it changes the fucking color of the red. I cannot have a fucking panther side marks on my fucking truck so i'm not the, I mean, the truck's not showroom it's not supposed to be showroom ready it's supposed to be give it a fucking facelift like frankenstein gave fucking dr frankenstein gave frankenstein pieces of different bodies sewed them together put my daughter's brain inside his fucking head and then bring him to life fuck yourself obs reconnecting successful how did i reconnect when i didn't even reconnect re disconnect I'm just, I, I'm, I'm pouring, I, I, the, tr the truck doesn't leak, it's the 1993 mid-size fucking Dodge Dakota, it's got a V8 in it, motherfucker, 5.7, I think, doesn't leak, no problems with it, I replaced some pins in the door jam, it has its issues here and there, but I'm fine with it, it's not a big deal, I'm happy with it, it's not the truck's fault, but I'd hate to keep, I mean, I, I'm already in, I'm already, I'm already balls deep, I'm already balls deep, if you know what I mean, I'm, I'm more than balls deep. Videos and everything weird and wonderful.